Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Arnaldo and this is Articulture. Today I have for you my chic concrete planter tutorial. And uh, all of these uh, planters were made from molds from the dollar store. So um, seasonally they will bring in a lot of plastic items, plastic goods that uh, you can convert into great molds that you can use to make planters and little sculptures as well. Um, in this case, they now, because it's springtime and summer, they bring in a lot of uh, plastic pails. So these are pails like for the beach, for kids to use. And it just so happened that they had these and they were actually like right next to each other, that they happen to fit in, one fits in perfect in the other one to make the perfect mold. It's like the perfect fit, it pops right in. And it turned out to be the perfect mold to use to make these planters. Um, so $1.25 for each one of these is like an amazing price to be able to use as a mold. So um, I like to buy a couple of them so that while I'm pouring, I can pour multiple projects at the same time and it facilitates the process. It makes it much easier and uh, less tedious work. So I wanna show you what I have done here. Um, so when you put these two molds together, you create this planter. And then what I've done is I made one to half of the height, so to half of the height, and then made it where it still had the drainage hole, flipped it over, and then glued it with concrete, um, uh, construction adhesive and I'll show you which are the ones that I have construction adhesive to hold it together and then you have this super beautiful tall planter that still has a drainage hole and is much taller and then it looks so interesting when you create one that's at the regular height and then I like to add a little sculptural element to make the design look much more much more beautiful so um, I'll go through the steps for you and show you how you guys can create these as well so once you found your molds what you need to do is you need something to use for a drainage hole so these are PVC pipe caps and they're available at the hardware stores, you know, Home Depot, whatever hardware stores near you. And then what you need to do is you need a glue gun. So you need to put glue on the bottom of the cap and then you need to glue it to the bottom of your mold like that and hold it there, let it hold. Then once you have that done, you do that you have to do a little layer of coconut oil. So um, I like to use coconut oil. You could use any oil actually. And what it does is it facilitates the concrete to popping out of the molds a lot faster and a lot easier. And um, if you've seen any of my other tutorials, I always explain that. What you do is you brush on a little bit of coconut oil and I'll show you when I make one outside. You brush your coconut oil and I'm telling you it pops out so much easier and so much faster once it's dry and set. So then once you have the cap in, once you have the cap in, you put your next layer in, you pop that in place. And then what you do is you have to weigh it down. Well, I'm sorry. Once you have the cap in, you're going to pour your concrete. You're going to make your first layer once the bottom is set. And again, all the steps I'll show you once we're making one outside. Once that layer is dry, then you're going to go on to putting in your next layer in, your next step in, your next mold in. Once you put the mold in, then you're going to pour rocks to weigh it down. And then you're going to have your little space here, which actually in this case, it has like a little slope and everything. It's perfect for pouring in the concrete. And you're just going to pour in all your different layers and you're going to create your layers however you like. Uh, using your uh, concrete pigments to create all the different layers however many you want if you just want a couple but I just thought it was such a cool idea to take it and reverse it flip it and make it like the base of the planter making it taller so then that way you have uh, multi levels and it's so much more interesting when you uh, display your plants in multi levels because if you have them all on one level you don't really get to appreciate them as much but this way you can have uh, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to use this one and put a cactus, put a succulent like an echeveria to fill in and then with a little sculptural element. It's going to look beautiful and I'm going to set that over by my greenhouse. So um, once you uh, mix your 
uh, pigments into your concrete, I'll show you what the pigments that I have. I like to use uh, natural mineral pigments, so um, black iron oxide and titanium dioxide, and then they sell all the colors that you can imagine. They have a rainbow spectrum of colors available, and these are all available for you on Amazon. And so you mix in as much pigment as you want. A little bit of pigment will give you a lighter color. Uh, more pigment will give you a saturated color. And what's great is you can mix your colors. You can mix uh, any color combination together, but like the white is great because you can mix to make lighter shades of whatever other color. So in this case, the orange. Um, also, Home Depot has these uh, quick create liquid cement colors and they come, I think, in like four or five colors. And these work uh, really well as, uh, really well also. So um, again, you mix your layers, you let it dry and you work on your next layer. So I like to work on multiple projects at the same time. So it makes it a lot easier. Um, you mix in your concrete. So the concrete that I use, which facilitates the process so much more is I use a self leveling underlayment concrete. So the self-leveling underlayment concrete, what it is, is that it has a polymer. It's a really, really, really fine concrete, which leaves a really beautiful, smooth finish. And also, and also the best thing about it is that it's fast drying. And because it's fast drying, you can work on your projects and finish them in a day. So um, each layer, like a regular concrete, is gonna take hours or a whole day to dry. With this concrete, 20 minutes. Just make sure it's firm to the touch and then you can go ahead and pour in your next layer. So 20 minutes per layer and you'll be able to finish your projects in one day. And uh, it's gonna be a lot faster and it's gonna be also a lot stronger. Like the polymer in it makes it really strong. So they're great for planters, they're great for sculptures and they're great to have them outside. So also when you're done with your planter, remember to always put a sealer on your concrete because what it's gonna do is it's gonna protect it from the weather and it's also gonna allow the saturation of color to come through and to show up a lot, a lot more. Uh, when you do your sealer, the colors tend to really show through a lot more beautiful and also it leaves it with a nice uh, bit of a shiny sheen to it and it protects them protects them from the weather. So I just wanted to show you real quick. This is also from the dollar store and this was the little mold which I have, which I show for you in my uh, concrete sculpture tutorial. But I just wanted to show you that that's the little mold that I used to create the little small uh, sculptural element. And you just put it in a cup and pour your layers. The same process, a little bit of oil. So yeah. So yeah, jumping right in. First, we're gonna go ahead and do the oil. Just the light coat is all you need. I like to use coconut oil because it doesn't really have a scent to it and I don't really mind so much when I get it on me. But you can use any kind of oil, vegetable oil or olive oil or whatever it is that you choose. So first I did the uh, oil on the inside of the container and then for the one that goes inside, I do the inside part. And that way they both can uh, separate really easily once you've finished with the concrete. So here we're just gonna do the glue gun and we're gonna glue. And here we're gonna glue the cap on. So once the cap is glued down, then we're gonna mix our concrete. And for the concrete, um, you want to have a consistency that's uh, easy to pour, but you don't want it to be too much water. You don't want it to be too wet because then it would take uh, too long to dry. But uh, you'll see the consistency. Um, so I didn't want to make the video too long. So I'm only going to show you guys how to mix uh, the mixing of the concrete only one time because you obviously uh, get it and you'll know you'll understand the process so yeah once the consistency is where I want it then we will go ahead and start pouring the bottom part of the planter and here you see we just fill the bottom up to the top of the cap and then we're going to let that set before we go ahead and put the inner part of the mold. So 
So once that's hardened, then we're going to go ahead and place the inner part of the mold. And then we're going to put rocks to hold it in place, to weigh it down so it doesn't move when we pour the concrete. Okay, so here we go and we start doing our layers. So um, again, I don't want to make the video so long. I just wanted to kind of keep it around 15 minutes or so. So I'm only going to show you as I created a couple of the layers, but you understand the process. So, you know, we do the one layer, we let it set and then we do the next and so on and so on. And we move on through until we finish to all the way to the top. So like I said earlier, it's really smart to do multiple molds at one time. And since you already have the concrete mixed, it's easier to just pour and finish. Well, in the time that it would take you to make one, you might as well make a couple, two, three, even more than that. Okay, so then last layer. Okay, so here the layers have already hardened and we're going to pour out the rocks. Now we're going to start loosening the mold. First we remove the inner mold, get that, it just pops right out, as you can see. And then we start loosening the outer part of the mold, tap it until it pops. And there you go, there you have it, you have a beautiful planter. Then the next step will be the sanding. First we start with a sanding block that's uh, a heavier grit and then we'll go ahead and do with a finer sand, sanding block. Final step will be doing the sealer. So what's great about the sealer is um, just a little bit goes a long way. Just a, a fine, a thin coat is all you need. So you just have to do the one coat and the concrete will absorb it. And you don't even have to do a second coat because it actually doesn't need it, doesn't require it. So what I like to do is I like to do the coat and then I'll wipe off any excess because you really don't need it. Yeah, and it I really recommend the, the sealer because it gives it such a beautiful finish.
I hope you feel inspired. I hope you feel motivated to create your own planters. Um, I hope you enjoyed the process. Like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you join me on my next tutorial. And thank you for watching.